In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to compile and run C programs in your Linux terminal. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is actually create your C program, and I've done just that. I created a program that'll run that'll print the square of every number from 1 to 10 out on the screen. So what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to actually save this uh, program. So I'm going to do File, Save As. I'm going to save it in a folder on the desktop named Tutorial. I'm going to name the program Hello. I'm going to give it a .c extension, so .c source file, save. Now that we have our program and it's saved, what we need to do is we need to navigate to the terminal. And what you can do is, if you don't see it up here, you can just type terminal here, and it will show. Okay, so before we go compiling our program, you want to make sure that you actually have the C compiler on your machine, or installed on your machine. And the way you can do that is you can type GCC, and that's the name of the C compiler, TAC TAC version. And if you get uh, the copyright C 2019 or whatever year of the GCC compiler you have uh, shown up, that means that you have it installed on your machine. If you do not get this, what you can do is you can uh, type in this command, sudo apt install build essential. And what this does is this installs GCC, G++, and a whole bunch of other important packages. Once you hit enter, it'll tell you to type in the password. So I'm just going to type mine in. And what it'll do is it'll install it all for you. Since I have it already installed, it tells you that um, is already the newest version. So what we can do from here is I'm just going to clear this. From here, what you want to do is you want to navigate to the directory of where your program is located. You can do that with CD. And then the directory, it's, there's a folder on my desktop named tutorial. So I'm going to type desktop forward slash tutorial. And that is where it is located. What I will do from here is type in GCC, and that's the C compiler. I will type in the name of the program I want compiled. From here, we need to type TAC O. And this is just a flag. This name the binary file. What GCC does is it compiles in this case, my hello.c program, into a binary file that it can read. We are now given the opportunity or the capacity to name this binary file, and I'll just name it ABCD. And from here, it's compiled. There's a binary file in the same folder as my hello.c program. What we need to do is we need to run this ABCD binary file, and we can do that with dot forward slash, type in ABCD or the binary file, and it'll run. As you can see, the square of every number from 1 to 10 has ran in the terminal. If you have learned something from this video or you found any value from it, I would appreciate it if you liked, commented, and subscribed. And I will see you guys in future tutorials.